Let's talk about WAMP server environments. A WAMP server is typically installed and configured in what is considered an environment. An environment would include the Windows operating system and the other server technology components installed and configured for a particular environment. Those environments being development, testing, staging, and production. The development environment is where the actual software coding and debugging occur and is configured specifically for the software development, for us. The development environment will include the software components of WAMP, all of which will be configured for development or development configuration settings. We'll also need a browser, likely some sort of integrated development environment or IDE for short, in this class, we'll just work with Notepad, which is a Windows editor tool available free of charge on all Windows machines. But the development environment has specific configuration for us. For example, in a development environment, we want to see where all the errors are, not only on our browser, but if we're using an IDE inside the IDE console. Now that's for development only. There's a testing environment. That is where software is tested by software testers which are frequently the target users of our software. This environment also includes a complete WAMP server installation, but is specifically configured for the testing environment. The testing environment does not typically require a browser or IDE installed. Sometimes it'll include extra server components like bug reporting software, but it is typically used just as a regular server with configuration settings and some additional components that software testers will use. Oftentimes, testing environments will be created with perhaps another operating system like a Linux machine. A WAMP server can also be configured as a testing server. So depending on what your principal operating platform is, you would go with that. Clearly, you have choices when it comes to configuring servers for your applications. The staging environment is where software is staged for production. Staging environments include the entire WAMP stack and all the software necessary to work as if it was a production machine. And as a matter of fact, it mirrors a production machine as closely as possible. The staging environment of a WAMP server includes the software we are developing to look and work and act exactly like a production site would. At that point, we can double check and make sure everything works before the staging server is turned into a production environment. A production environment is where the software itself serves the actual web content or website. It is where the users will interact with our website. The WAMP server configuration is a little bit different for production. For example, on a production machine, we would not display any errors to a user. We would handle those errors internally. Also, a production machine doesn't typically need a browser or an IDE or any other tools to develop with. It just needs to serve the software or the website. So the server is configured a little bit more securely and a little bit more tighter for production because it is in fact exposed to internet traffic. So for the purposes of this training, we will focus on a WAMP server configured for us, the developers, or for a development environment on the 64-bit version of Windows. So the very first step in creating a WAMP server for development is some consideration to some hardware. 